Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video was going to be my everyday makeup routine when I go to school or a everyday makeup routine as I don't wear my makeup uh, every day to school but if I do I just spot conceal. I don't actually do my makeup that I'm going to show you because like I like makeup but like I don't want it on every day but if you do want uh, this on your face if you do like makeup like a lot and you want to wear it every day this is a perfect makeup routine for you okay first I start off with a primer and I'm just gonna use this this is what I would probably use this is the pearlescent pearlescent coconut rose hydrating face mist it's not a setting spray or a primer but it's very hydrating so I'm just gonna put it on and it smells like coconut rose like it says it's supposed to smell like and it smells so good and next I'm not gonna put on foundation so I'm just gonna spot, spot conceal and put it on my under eyes since usually I don't want to go to bed like 10 o'clock anymore or like 9 o'clock like I need 13 hours of sleep so when I only get like 9 like that's not okay so, um, I obviously am going to have dark circles, so I'm going to need to cover them up. So I'm just going to spot conceal and put some under my eyes. Just a little bit though, not too much. So, this is the concealer I got. I'm going to turn off the light so you can see me a little better. And, oh, I forgot to tell you, this is the Maybelline New York Fit Me Concealer in the shade 20 Sand. This is, like, very dark, but, like, it's my shade, so it's really good. And I'm using the Morphe M439 brush. It's just a um, uh, foundation brush. And with this brush, you kind of got to, like, use it like a beauty blender. Because this brush, well, I don't know how to use brushes because this is the first ever foundation brush. Well, the second foundation brush I had. But the first one I gave away because I really didn't like it. Because I was going, like, this. But I found out that you have to, like, press it in and, like, tap. And by the way, it's, like... 8.15 now, so it's not like in the day anytime. And with a brush, I think you can distribute it a lot more because the Beauty Blender soaks it up and this gives you more coverage. Okay, this is this step all done, and next I'm going to move on to powder. Um, it doesn't matter what powder you use. The simplest one and the fastest powder, I think, is just a press um, powder, and this is the Remel Stay Matte Powder in the shade 001 Transparent. And I'm just going to tap in this with my Brooklyn Beauty Powder Brush. I'm just going to put this all over. And this is just from Dollar Store. The Dollar Store. Well, Dollarama. I think this powder is actually really nice. I think I'm so oily now that, like, when I put on powder, it just sets it. It don't, um, like... It don't make my face look super matte. So that's really nice. Next, I'm going to move on to bronzer. Um, I use my different uh, bronzers. Well, I have three different bronzers. And I like all three of them equally the same. So... Whichever one I pick first, it doesn't really matter. I like them all. 
And I'm going to use the e.l.f. Total Face Brush. And I'm going to dip into my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer in the shade Light Bronzer. And I'm just going to bronze all over my face. Well, in my... Uh, on my cheekbones and on my forehead. I love the smell of this bronzer. And the only reason I'm putting this on is to bronze up my face a little bit. You don't need to like precisely put it on. It's just to bronze it up a little bit so you don't look like completely one color. And next, I'm going to move on to blush. Um, I'm going to use um, this Wet n Wild uh, Color Iconic Ombre Blush in the shade The Princess Dequires. It looks like this. And I'm just going to put this on with my e.l.f. complex brush. I have all the same stuff like that I used to film with like before summer started. So like I remember everything. Like I know the names of everything. I barely need to look at it. This is a lot subtler than my MAC Dolly Mix blush. And I, I like both of them. And this video is going to be uh, longer than it would be if I was just doing makeup really fast. So that's why it's going to take a little longer. And now I'm going to use my Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in the shade Golden Flower Crown. This is by Wet n Wild. I'm going to use my um, Real Techniques Powder Brush. But I use it for highlight. I'm just going to... Put a little bit of this on my cheekbones, my nose, a little bit on my lip, keep the bow, and then I'm gonna put some on my brow bone and in my inner corners. So this will make you look more awake. And Next, I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Brow Gel, and this is in the shade Blonde. And I'm just going to run this through my eyebrows real quick. And then I'm going to put on a mascara. It doesn't really matter what mascara you put on, but I'm going to put on this Essence Get Big Lashes Volume Boost Mascara. And this says it's clump free, and that's good. This is what it looks like. And I don't usually use lipstick, but I'm just going to put on this NYC, uh, lic I think this is a liquid lip shine, and it's in the shade, um, I think it's called City Clear, it, like, it's, uh, took off of this, like, the stuff faded off, so... I think it's in the shade City Clear, but I'm not sure. And it's supposed to be clear, and it is clear on the lips, just I didn't wash off the applicator after I put lipstick on and put the sun over. Okay, so that's... The second last step, the last step is setting spray. I'm going to be using the Morphe Contour setting spray. And I'm just going to put this on. 
Okay, thanks for watching this video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you can get notified every time I upload a new video. Bye, guys.